Hello, my name is Justin Urquhart Stewart, and welcome back if you've seen this before. And uh, if you haven't, then you're very welcome. So, I've got just a few minutes to give you some ideas what we should be looking at at the moment. Previously, we've been talking about how the market is so unreliable at the moment and, and rushing up and down based on what? Well, the stock exchange markets, the indices, are supposed to be a discount for the future, you know, about 18 months ahead. Frankly, it's not doing that at the moment. So we should, as we've described before, be looking for opportunities to buy in. And there will be some very exciting ones over the next few months. But I've said all that before. What I wanted to mention today is something which may seem dull, but is actually very important for longer term investors. Why? Because part of our portfolio will be longer term. I always have a trading part. I even have a punting part. But also I have a core element which is there for long term. So what am I looking at there? There I'm actually looking at something which is going to give me really something very powerful in the longer term. It's called compounding. Are you familiar with the rule of 72? Basically, divide into 72 what the sort of yield you can get. And it'll tell you then how far or how often your money will actually double. Now, I appreciate in the States, dividends aren't such a major or popular thing. So the yield at the moment on the S&P 500 is about longer term 1.9%. Well, it's actually riveting stuff, really. Meanwhile, in the UK, we have a higher level of dividends here. The pension funds like having that, whether it's paying from the banks, if they're still there and actually paying a dividend, oil companies, whilst they're still there, but com telecoms companies and things like that. And these are longer term uh, dividend payers. So the yield on the FTSE 100 is about 4.4%. So to give you an idea then, if you were investing for yield on that, and it's uh, not a wildly exciting yield, but considerably better than you would get on bank deposit accounts at the moment, which is about 0.01%, which is ridiculous, it's effectively naught, particularly as inflation is running, whether it's in the States or in the UK, higher than that, in the UK, about 1.4%. So in real terms, it's negative. So getting a yield of 4.4% is not only positive, higher than inflation, it's giving me a real return. So longer term, how long does that take to give me a double the money? Well, to give you an idea, into 72, 4.4% goes roughly 16 times. So my money doubles every 16 years. That may not sound wildly exciting. But if I'm investing for a family office and I need to make sure that I've got consistent amount of return going into that fund and it's growing over time, over 16 years, my lifetime, the next lifetime, I'm investing for the longer term, that's important. And it means, therefore, I'm getting something which is giving me a level of security, as long as there's dividends still being paid, and it's giving me that regular compounding. And of course, the greater amount you've got and the higher the yield, the better it actually is. However, when you look at the S&P 500, I'm sorry to say, your yield is much lower. As I said, about 1.9% in the longer term, which would actually then mean your money doubles every, I'm afraid, 36 years. That's not wildly exciting. So look for yield, and particularly if you are looking, say, at bonds, maybe the higher risk end of the bond market, and look at those yields. Remember, though, the higher the yield, the greater the risk. And if dividends suddenly shoot up dramatically and your yield is suddenly very dramatic, and then actually what you'll find is maybe that's telling you something. Is the dividend about to be cut? Uh, is it now actually badly priced? So the rule of 72 is one of those really useful little markers to have whether it's paying back your mortgage, whether it's saving for the longer term, saving for university fees, college fees, all those sort of things, it gives you a simple, clear measure. And I think something that we should make sure we teach our children. But I don't know about you, but no one ever taught me at school about finances at all. Uh, and I had to learn by mistakes after I left school. So with all of that, it's a simple rule. 72, dividing the yield you'll get, tells you how your money doubles. Uh, money doubling, in my view, it's really pretty good value. And so long as it's greater than the rate of inflation, it's a real return. Just look forward to seeing you again. Good luck. Stay healthy, please. Bye-bye.